Throughout history, the Stoics, known for their wisdom and mastery of self-control, also understood something crucial about human psychology, especially the psychology of attraction. These ancient philosophers grasped the subtle art of making others desire what they could not easily obtain. It's a lesson that holds true even today, and the psychological tricks they embodied can be the difference between pursuing a woman and having her chase you. In this video, we'll uncover seven psychological tricks that only 1% of men know, tricks that will make her chase you instead. These are not about manipulation, but about shifting the dynamic in a way that sparks her interest and keeps her intrigued. Stick with us until the end, because each of these steps builds on the last to create an irresistible allure. And, of course, if you enjoy the video, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share your story if you've had a similar experience, because these tricks work best when shared with others. Now, let's dive into the first of these psychological secrets. Chapter 1. Ask her about her friend. One of the most surprising and powerful psychological tricks to spark a woman's interest is to subtly shift the attention away from her, and instead, ask about her friend. At first glance, this might seem counterproductive or even risky, but when done with the right finesse, it works wonders. This tactic taps into multiple psychological principles, playing on both social dynamics and deeper emotional triggers. By focusing on her friend, you're activating an array of feelings, curiosity, intrigue, and even a hint of competitiveness, all of which can make her start chasing you for your attention. The first and most important thing to understand is that this approach immediately sets you apart from other men. Most guys, when interested in a woman, make her the center of attention, showering her with compliments, questions, and admiration. While this might seem like the right thing to do, it often comes across as needy or too eager, putting the woman in a position of power. However, when you casually ask about her friend, you're signaling that you're not overwhelmed by her beauty or charm. You're demonstrating that you have self-control, and this instantly shifts the balance of power in your favor. You're showing her that you're calm, collected, and not desperate for her validation. But there's more to this technique. By asking about her friend, you're also playing on a deep psychological need that most people share, the need to feel special and unique. When a woman notices that your interest isn't directly focused on her, it can trigger a sense of uncertainty. This uncertainty can quickly evolve into curiosity. Why is he more interested in my friend? What does he see in her that I don't have? This subtle shift makes her want to prove herself to show you that she's the one who deserves your attention. Let's take a deeper look at how this works in practice. Suppose you're chatting with her in a casual setting, maybe at a party or over a coffee date, and the conversation flows naturally. Instead of bombarding her with questions about herself, you smoothly transition the focus by saying something like, Hey, how's your friend? Insert name. I remember you guys mentioning her new project the other day, sounded really interesting. This comment does a few key things, you're demonstrating that you're paying attention to details, you didn't just randomly bring up a friend, you recalled something from a previous conversation, which shows that you're observant. Women appreciate when a man notices the finer points of a conversation, as it indicates attentiveness and emotional intelligence. You're making the conversation feel less like an interrogation by steering the discussion toward her friend. You're avoiding the trap of seeming overly interested or trying too hard. You're making the interaction more balanced and relaxed, which makes her more comfortable around you. You're introducing an element of social comparison without being overt about it. You're inviting her to think about how she stacks up against her friend. Social comparison is a powerful motivator. When people feel like they're not getting the attention they expect, they often work harder to win it. In this case, the woman might start to seek your approval more actively because she feels like she's not your first priority. But this technique only works if it's done with subtlety. If you're too direct or make it obvious that you're trying to play a game, it can backfire. The key is to stay calm and casual, 
as if you genuinely care about how her friend is doing. It's important that you don't overdo it, don't spend the entire conversation talking about her friend or give the impression that you're not interested in the woman you're speaking to at all. Instead, drop a few casual mentions here and there and then move the conversation forward. Another advantage of this trick is that it helps to create a sense of mystery around you. By not focusing all your attention on her, you're making yourself a bit harder to read. In the world of dating, unpredictability is often linked to attraction. When a woman can't fully figure you out, she becomes more intrigued. She starts to wonder what kind of man you are, why you're not like the others who have pursued her, and whether there's something more to you than meets the eye. This unpredictability also ties into a sense of control. By keeping her slightly off balance in the interaction, you're ensuring that she's more invested in figuring you out. As the conversation progresses, she'll likely shift her behavior to try and win your approval or to pull the conversation back toward herself. This subtle dynamic shift, where she becomes more eager to engage, is exactly what you want. Mastery over one's emotions and desires leads to control over interactions and relationships. You're not allowing your attraction to dominate your behavior. Instead, you're staying in control, playing the long game, and letting her come to you. Of course, this approach won't work in isolation. It's one part of a broader strategy, and it needs to be combined with other techniques to be truly effective. However, when used correctly, this tactic can be a powerful way to stir her curiosity and set the stage for her to chase you. In the end, asking about her friend is a small but strategic move that creates a subtle power shift. It makes her question why she isn't the center of your attention, sparks a bit of competition, and ultimately leads her to seek more of your approval. In a world where most men are eager to chase, standing out by not doing so is often the most effective strategy of all. Chapter 2. Look more exciting on social media. In today's digital age, social media is often the first window into someone's life. While many people use their platforms to stay connected with friends and family, it's also a powerful tool to create a certain image of yourself, one that can significantly influence how women perceive you. To make her chase you, your social media presence needs to portray you as someone exciting, adventurous and engaging. The Stoics understood the value of perception and how controlling the way others see you can give you power. In the same vein, Crafting your social media to reflect an active, intriguing lifestyle is a psychological trick that can make her curious and drawn toward you without direct interaction. Most men fall into the trap of oversharing on social media, posting selfies or mundane updates about their day-to-day -day activities. This can quickly come off as needy or uninteresting. Instead, you want to cultivate a sense of mystery and excitement. Think of your social media profiles as an edited version of your life, showcasing the best, most captivating parts of it. You don't have to fake anything, but you should focus on highlighting activities and experiences that make you stand out from the crowd. For example, post photos or stories about the places you've traveled to, the hobbies you're passionate about, or the events you're attending. If you're involved in something adventurous, such as hiking, playing sports, or attending live concerts, share it. Even seemingly small activities, like going out with friends or trying a new restaurant, can give off the impression that you have a vibrant social life. The goal is to show that you're someone who's always experiencing new things, someone who is in demand, and someone who isn't waiting around for anyone to fill their time. By creating this kind of presence on social media, you accomplish a few key things. First, you're showing her that you're interesting and fun to be around without directly telling her. Actions, even in the digital realm, speak louder than words. Second, you're giving her a glimpse into your life that keeps her intrigued. She'll start to wonder about the things you do when you're not together, what other exciting parts of your life you haven't shared, and this curiosity can easily turn into attraction. Another critical aspect of this strategy is to avoid overposting. 
Less is often more when it comes to creating intrigue. If you post too frequently, you run the risk of seeming like you're trying too hard or that you have too much time on your hands. Instead, post selectively, leaving her wanting to see more. By controlling the flow of information about your life, you're creating an aura of mystery. She won't know everything about you from the start, and this unpredictability keeps her hooked. A man with an exciting social media presence also signals that he has options. He's not waiting around for any one person to show interest in him. This can stir feelings of competition, as women may start to wonder if they're the ones who can keep up with your lifestyle. It's human nature to desire what we think we can't easily have, and by showing her that your life is full and exciting, you're subtly suggesting that if she wants to be part of it, she'll have to make the effort. Ultimately, by curating your social media presence in a way that reflects an exciting, adventurous, and fulfilling life, you're setting yourself apart from the majority of men. You're showing her that you're not chasing after her attention, instead, you're living your life to the fullest, and if she wants to be part of it, she'll have to chase you. Social media, when used correctly, can be one of the most powerful tools in creating attraction, as it allows you to control the narrative of how you're perceived, just as the Stoics mastered the art of controlling perceptions in their daily lives. Chapter 3. Reinvent Yourself, A Mysterious, Different Side of You Another powerful psychological trick to make her chase you is to reinvent yourself, show her a new, mysterious side of you that she hasn't yet discovered. People are naturally drawn to what they don't fully understand, and if you can introduce an element of mystery into your personality, you'll captivate her attention in a way that few men can. The Stoics believed in constant self-improvement, continually working on their inner selves to reach new heights of wisdom and understanding. You can take a page from their book by cultivating different aspects of yourself that you haven't previously revealed. The key to reinventing yourself is not to completely change who you are, but to showcase different facets of your personality. For example, if she knows you are someone who's always laid back and relaxed, surprise her by showing a more driven, ambitious side. If she sees you as predictable, add an element of spontaneity to your behavior. This unpredictability keeps her intrigued because she never quite knows what to expect from you. You can also reinvent yourself by developing new skills, hobbies, or interests. Take up a new activity that challenges you and introduces you to new experiences. Whether it's learning a new language, picking up a musical instrument, or diving into a new sport, showing her that you're constantly evolving makes you appear dynamic and exciting. Women are attracted to men who have depth, who are always growing and expanding their horizons. When you reinvent yourself in subtle but meaningful ways, you're signaling that you're not stagnant, you're someone who's always striving to be better. This new side of you should not be something you announce or draw attention to. Let her discover it organically. For instance, if you've been reading up on a particular topic or practicing a new skill, allow it to come up naturally in conversation. When she notices that you've developed new interests or perspectives, she'll be intrigued, wanting to know more about the man you're becoming. This slow reveal of your different sides creates an element of mystery that keeps her guessing and coming back for more. The idea of reinvention also ties into self-confidence. A man who is constantly improving himself projects confidence, and confidence is one of the most attractive qualities you can have. When she sees that you're not afraid to step out of your comfort zone and grow, she'll be drawn to your inner strength and resilience. She'll want to be part of that journey, to see where it takes you, and to understand the complexity behind the man she thought she knew. Ultimately, reinvention keeps the relationship dynamic fresh and exciting. People are naturally attracted to what's new and different, and by continually showing her new sides of yourself, you'll make it impossible for her to grow bored or complacent. She'll be chasing you to keep up, eager to learn more about the different layers of your personality. As with the Stoics, who believed in the constant pursuit of wisdom and self-discovery, this approach allows you to remain elusive and captivating in her eyes. 
Chapter 4 of Friends Own Her One of the most counterintuitive but highly effective psychological tricks to make her chase you is to flip the script and friend zone her. This tactic takes advantage of the natural desire people have for what they can't easily attain, and it turns the tables on the usual dynamic where men are often the ones pursuing women. By friend zoning her, you're creating a sense of unavailability, which can make her more interested in you. This strategy isn't about playing games, but about changing the way the dynamic unfolds, adding an element of challenge and surprise that often leads to stronger attraction. Friend zoning her works because it challenges her expectations. Most women are used to being pursued, so when you establish that you only see her as a friend, it can create a sense of curiosity and even confusion. She might start to wonder why you're not interested in her romantically and what she needs to do to change that. This shift in dynamic puts you in a position of power because now she's the one questioning her role in your life, and it sparks the desire to win your approval or attention. People naturally want what feels just out of reach, and this is the psychological basis behind the effectiveness of this trick. When you friend zone her, make it genuine. Treat her like you would any other friend, without showing any signs of romantic or sexual interest. Compliment her, but keep it light and nonchalant. Invite her to hang out in group settings, but don't go out of your way to spend one-on-one -on -one time with her. By doing this, you're establishing clear boundaries that indicate you're not chasing her, and this can make her start chasing you. The subtlety is key here, you're not rejecting her outright, but you're also not pursuing her, which places her in a state of emotional limbo. That emotional ambiguity can be compelling because it creates a sense of unpredictability and intrigue. The key to this tactic is to maintain a balance. You don't want to come off as completely disinterested or distant, but rather as someone who values her friendship and isn't seeking anything more. This approach taps into a psychological principle known as scarcity, when something is scarce or hard to obtain, people tend to value it more. By showing her that you're not available in the way she might expect, you're creating that sense of scarcity, making her more likely to want what she can't have. Scarcity amplifies desire because people often chase what feels exclusive or difficult to achieve, and this drives them to invest more effort in obtaining it. It's important, however, to ensure that your actions are respectful and authentic. You're not manipulating her feelings, rather, you're adjusting the energy and expectations within the relationship. This subtle shift creates a challenge that can intensify her interest in you. You're presenting yourself as someone who isn't easily swayed by surface-level attraction, and that alone sets you apart from the majority of men who might be vying for her attention. Over time, she may start dropping hints or trying to break out of the friend zone, showing more interest in you than she initially did. This is where you can slowly shift the dynamic, allowing her to pursue you more actively. The trick is to remain composed and not give in too quickly, letting her work for your attention. When she realizes that she can't have you as easily as she thought, her perception of you changes and she starts valuing your attention more. The act of winning you over becomes a game that she engages with, and before long, the tables have turned. In the end, friend zoning her flips the usual dynamic, making her chase after you instead of the other way around. It's a subtle but powerful psychological trick that can create attraction through the element of surprise and the challenge it presents. By positioning yourself as a valuable friend rather than an eager suitor, you're showing her that you're someone worth pursuing. This tactic works because it's based on the principle of turning expectations upside down, and once she realizes she's the one doing the chasing, the attraction is likely to grow stronger. By keeping her in the friend zone temporarily, you're also allowing a natural connection to form, one based on mutual respect and genuine interest in each other's company. This kind of relationship can often lead to deeper emotional bonds, as you're giving her the space to see your true value without the pressure of traditional dating dynamics. You're creating an environment where she feels compelled to invest in the relationship, and that investment can often lead to a more meaningful connection. 
Ultimately, the power of the friend zone lies in its ability to subtly shift the emotional landscape of the interaction. Instead of pursuing her, you're allowing her to take the lead, flipping the typical script in a way that feels natural and compelling. This approach creates a unique form of attraction, one built on curiosity, scarcity, and the thrill of the chase. And in the world of romance, few things are more powerful than making someone work a little harder to win your attention. Chapter 5. Let her catch you checking her out, but don't engage. Another effective psychological trick is to let her catch you checking her out, but don't engage her after she notices. This tactic creates a sense of awareness and intrigue while keeping the interaction light and playful. The key is to be subtle and confident, allowing her to see that you're interested without making her feel uncomfortable or objectified. When you let her catch you looking, you're sending a clear message, you find her attractive. However, by not engaging immediately, whether by starting a conversation or making further advances, you're creating an air of mystery. She knows you've noticed her, but she's left wondering why you didn't follow up. This uncertainty can spark her curiosity and make her want to engage with you first. It's important to strike the right balance here. You don't want to come across as creepy or overly intense. A brief glance that lasts just long enough for her to catch it is all you need. Once she notices, look away with a slight smile or continue what you were doing. The goal is to make the interaction feel lighthearted, not heavy or awkward. This trick works because it creates a sense of intrigue and leaves her wanting more. By not immediately acting on your attraction, you're showing that you're in control of your emotions and that you're not desperate for her attention. This nonchalant attitude is often far more attractive than overt pursuit, as it signals that you're comfortable in your own skin and not easily swayed by physical attraction. The Stoics were masters of self-discipline, and this tactic mirrors that mindset. You're acknowledging your attraction, but not allowing it to control your actions. This restraint makes you more intriguing and desirable because it sets you apart from the men who are too quick to pursue. It also creates a playful dynamic where she might feel compelled to make the next move, turning the tables and putting her in the position of the pursuer. In the end, this tactic is about balance, showing just enough interest to catch her attention but holding back enough to keep her intrigued. It's a subtle psychological game that, when played correctly, can make her chase you to uncover what's beneath the surface. By letting her catch you checking her out and then withdrawing, you're creating a dynamic where she feels compelled to engage with you, adding an element of excitement and mystery to your interactions. Chapter 6. Be more attractive, always be working on yourself. One of the most important psychological tricks to make her chase you isn't a direct tactic aimed at her, but rather something you do for yourself, constantly work on becoming more attractive. This principle goes beyond superficial appearance, it's about becoming a high-value man who is interesting, driven, and improving every day. Women are naturally drawn to men who have something going on in their lives. And by focusing on self-improvement, you'll create an irresistible pull that makes her want to be a part of your world. The Stoics believed in the pursuit of excellence through self-discipline, and you can apply this philosophy to your life to become the best version of yourself. This isn't about changing who you are to impress someone, it's about becoming someone you're proud of, and that naturally makes you more attractive. When you're continually working on yourself, whether physically, mentally, or emotionally, it sends a clear signal that you're a man with goals, purpose, and ambition. This energy is incredibly magnetic. Start by focusing on your physical health. Regular exercise, eating well, and taking care of your body shows that you respect yourself, which in turn makes others respect you. Women are often attracted to men who show discipline and take care of their physical appearance, not just because of looks, but because it reflects a certain mindset of self-care and ambition. Confidence often comes from feeling good about yourself, and when you project that confidence, it naturally draws people in. However, being more attractive isn't just about the way you look, it's about your entire presence. 
Work on developing new skills and hobbies that make you a more well-rounded person. Learn something new, whether it's picking up a musical instrument, getting into a new sport, or expanding your knowledge on a subject you're passionate about. A man who's always evolving and learning is far more appealing than someone who stays stuck in the same routine. Beyond hobbies, cultivate your emotional intelligence. Women are highly attuned to emotional cues and being able to communicate effectively, show empathy, and handle challenges with calm and composure are traits that stand out. Emotional maturity is something that many men overlook, but it's crucial to building strong relationships. When you're emotionally stable and can handle your emotions, it makes you seem grounded and secure, qualities that are inherently attractive. Another aspect of becoming more attractive is building a compelling lifestyle. This doesn't mean you need to be rich or famous, but having a life that's filled with meaningful activities and personal growth makes you stand out. When you're passionate about your career, hobbies, or personal goals, it creates a sense of purpose. A man who is passionate about his life doesn't need to chase women, they come to him because they want to be a part of what he's building. Moreover, by working on yourself, you're also signaling that you don't need validation from anyone else, including her. This independence is incredibly attractive because it shows that you're not reliant on others to feel good about yourself. You're living your life for you, and if she wants to be part of it, she'll need to chase you. This shift in dynamic is subtle but powerful. When she sees that you're focused on your own path, she'll start to wonder why you're not focused on her, sparking her interest even more. The key to this approach is consistency. Self-improvement isn't a one-time effort, it's a lifestyle. When you're constantly evolving and pushing yourself to be better, it becomes part of who you are. You'll naturally exude confidence and attractiveness, making her more inclined to pursue you rather than the other way around. In the end, the best way to make her chase you is to become a man who's worth chasing, a man who's always striving for excellence in every aspect of his life. Chapter 7. Keep her guessing. The power of unpredictability. The final psychological trick to make her chase you is one that taps into a universal human desire, unpredictability. People are naturally drawn to mystery and the unknown, and if you can keep her guessing, you'll create an irresistible sense of intrigue that pulls her toward you. The Stoics understood that mastery of the self included mastering the art of perception, and by becoming slightly unpredictable, you tap into a deeper psychological pull that keeps her coming back for more. Unpredictability doesn't mean being unreliable or inconsistent, it means breaking free from the patterns and routines that most people fall into. When someone can easily predict your next move, there's little excitement left. On the other hand, when you're unpredictable in subtle ways, it keeps her on her toes, wondering what you'll do next. This sense of anticipation can be intoxicating as it activates her curiosity and desire to figure you out. One way to introduce unpredictability is by varying how you interact with her. If you're usually quick to respond to her texts, try taking a bit longer sometimes. If you're always available to hang out, occasionally make other plans and show that you have a life outside of her. This doesn't mean playing hard to get in a manipulative way, it's about showing that you're not overly available or predictable. You're a man with your own priorities, and sometimes, she'll need to wait for your attention. This small shift in behavior can make her value your time and attention more, because it's not something she can take for granted. Another way to keep her guessing is by being spontaneous. Plan unexpected activities or surprises when you're together. It could be something as simple as suggesting a spontaneous road trip or taking her to a place she's never been before. The element of surprise keeps the relationship dynamic fresh and exciting. When she never knows exactly what's going to happen next, she'll be more engaged and interested in the experience, and by extension, in you. Unpredictability also applies to how you present yourself. As mentioned earlier, reinventing yourself can add an element of mystery to your personality. Don't reveal everything about yourself right away. 
hold back certain details about your life, your past, or your future plans, and let her discover them over time. This gradual reveal keeps her interested in learning more about you because there's always something new to uncover. However, the key to unpredictability is balance. You don't want to come off as erratic or unreliable. Instead, focus on keeping things fresh and dynamic without losing her trust. She should feel secure in the relationship, but also excited by the fact that you're full of surprises. When you master this balance, you'll create a magnetic pull that keeps her wanting more. Unpredictability also taps into the concept of scarcity. When something is unpredictable, it feels rare and valuable because it's not easily obtained. By being slightly unpredictable in your actions and interactions, you make yourself appear more elusive, which naturally makes her want to pursue you. She'll be drawn to the excitement of not knowing what comes next, and this can create a powerful emotional connection that makes her chase after you. In conclusion, unpredictability is one of the most powerful psychological tricks because it keeps the element of mystery alive. When you're not easily figured out, it triggers her curiosity and desire to learn more about you. Combined with the other tactics in this guide, such as becoming more attractive, reinventing yourself, and leveraging social dynamics like friend zoning and subtle interest, you'll create an irresistible force that compels her to chase you. The Stoics knew that the mind was the ultimate tool of influence, and by understanding these psychological tricks, you can harness that power to your advantage. And there you have it, seven powerful psychological tricks that only 1% of men know to make her chase you. By mastering these techniques, you are not only setting yourself apart from the crowd, but you're also tapping into deeper psychological principles that have stood the test of time even as far back as the Stoics. Remember, it's all about balance, self-control, and understanding human nature. The key is not to manipulate, but to enhance genuine attraction by becoming the best version of yourself and understanding how to navigate the subtle dynamics of attraction. If you found value in this episode, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content that delves into the psychology of relationships and self-improvement. And don't forget to share your story in the comments what tactics have worked for you, or how are you planning to implement these strategies in your life? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay confident, stay in control, and always keep them guessing.